stack setup. Let's, uh... Let's give you Burb. That is... This game is fucking precious. <laughs> it, it really is. Tip jar. I was thinking in the form of cash, but it's, it's a jar that gives you tips on the game. Yo, that's a box. Huh? A dead end? But there's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? Never the fear! Look the closely! This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a guinea golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the guinea golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. Gimme, gimme! So where do we find that? That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the Choco Chicks the Mirage board. Alright, so I already know how this works, so I'll exit out. But there is the Stroll ability. If you are accompanied by multiple Mirages with a Stroll ability, you can cycle between them with left and right on the D-pad. Sometimes uh, they will discover items. So, let's head over to the Mirage board. I played the entire demo, and I... Played maybe 30 more minutes on top of it, so I have about 90 minutes of experience in this game. <laughs> Clearly, it's not going to be enough. But if you go to a Mirage menu, you have to level them up. First of all, you see three things here. This guy, and then these two blocks. These two blocks, I assume, as far as I can... Excuse me, jeez. As, as far as I can tell, they are the evolutions of Burb. So, when you're on this menu, just select what you want. And then, here's the menu. Very easy. It's a skill tree. As you go through the tree, it is going to cost you SP. SP that you gain through levels and maybe something else. Not too sure about that. I'm, a, I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's from levels and maybe good fights. So, for example, we got one right here. Stroll costs one, as you can see on the bottom there. So we'll unlock it. We've learned Stroll. From here, we can then choose whatever we want here. Uh, cure can be learned if we picked up four, and then you just keep going through. And then you have unlock Mirage Board question marks, and then unlock Mirage Board other question marks. You must reach level 10 or higher for this. And then this one, you need to obtain something. These, my understanding for these, evolutions, because transfiguration. So, I'm guessing that that's how you do that, and uh, yeah. We're gonna go the the place that they clearly want us to target. Actually, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we could have saved our SP and tried to buy Cure, but we'll we'll do Ram. So we have Stroll now. Hey, the Choco Chicks come along for a stroll. I can't handle this thing's really dead eyes. At this point, I'm just gonna try and see if I can get him to find, uh, find this item for me. Do you just do it on your own? Do I need to, like... Nah, it just seems like you do it. Ah, I see. Huh? We found something. Yay! You have found it! Now, try examining the Gimme Golem. Oh my god, there's a fast forward for actual in-game shit? Awesome. If we ever reach moments where it's like, okay, now do this, and I'm like, I know, I know, I know. Gimme, gimme. Doesn't mean I'm gonna be fast forwarding important sequences, just points where it's like, we all know what's going on. That's so cool. I guess the Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. With the help of a Mirage or the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. 
You can also use them to change your mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your mirage boards. Pretty soon you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimmore like a pair of the pros. This this thing's killing me. Like I think I might die. And there we go. We got three potions. I don't know what. So Tama, I've never really heard of those before. When we defeat them, why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the technically belong in this world. And so when one of you, huh? Wait, now that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh, it's like. Right there, on the tip of my tongue. Now what's this? This is the Kata Merkrift. Inside you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we say... Mirages? Oh man, let's go catch them! But... <laughs> Clearly you can't catch that, it looks evil! Oh, we're fucked. Uh... <laughs> this one's not very cute. Murkrith, scary but true. Homes do strange, rare, and usually very dangerous mirages. If you want to explore one, make sure that you're fully prepared. Uh, most will be too tough for you to handle when you first find them. If you do end up getting whomped, come back later. Mon! Why did you... Now what do we do? I tried to tell you. Inside Murkris, you're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to tell us. Try a little harder, please. Well, that's one way to get it started. Oh, thank God we have good agility. Give me the info. Unimprisonable, um, weak to darkness, but resistant to water and lightning. Here I am trying to have a responsible battle, and now it's all just falling apart. This is my fault. Oh no. Did you two die already? I died? Oh my what? god. No way. Maybe it's true. That mirage in the Murkriff did kinda... Well, I'm still alive. Yes. That's because someone intervened. Right at the moment of your demise. And made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little. And then to whisk you to safety. Although... It cost me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little of the while afterwards. A life? You might not to believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. <laughs> oh but my hey! god. But just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Murkrift. Oh, the yeah. And I can always the recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest a spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself silly. Yes, this sir. Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. D uh, <laughs> yeah, when you game over, you'll be whisked back. 
but you'll have to fight your way back to where you were, so no death penalty. However, if you're inside the threshold of a powerful mirage... Uh, ah, okay. AK, if you're in a boss fight, no. Who's that? Oh, if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Uh, okay. The real Where'd question is how she got she here from the outside really world when it's no easy trick. Oh, she must have experience away. crossing between Would planes. And a save point. Yeah, that's a save point ass save point, guys. Give me the juice. Alright, let's go see this person. So, she's over at North Promenade. Oh, wow. She's so tiny. Is she, uh, what's the word again? Lilikin? Chocoboco Lina! Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hello, and how are you? Hmm? Uh, good. More or less. You know, what a nice, quiet place. Oh, uh... So who are the you? Oh, you can call me Chocolatte! I seem to have washed up here like a soggy yellow feather in a storm! Huh? I do have this funny knack for winding up in strange places. Uh, cool. Oh, right! Care to shop? I've got the goods! Chocoboco Ching! I, I, I can't function after that. She sells you items. Whoa, slow down. What kind of operation is this? It's called a shop, dear. You're in luck. I find all kinds of stuff as I bounce from point A to point Q. I'm your Choco connection. So hey, are you ready to head back to Grimoire? Yes. Now my understanding is Chocobogalina is from Final Fantasy 13 too. Oh, what a monstrosity ah! she is. Show that yourself, Seraphy. I didn't know it was you. You had it coming. You know, when you awaken, you should have woke me up too. I don't remember raising you to be such a selfish selfer poo. Well, I don't remember you the raising me at all! Who's this? Oh, hi. I'm just your adorable local wind pixie, a.k.a. Seraphie. My hobbies include gossip mongering and, uh, let's see. Oh, I'm good at hoarding things. Yep. Hoarding? Hoarding? Why do you think I'm here? You must have tons of prismariums. More than you can handle, right? Well, we're still working on it. Uh-huh. You'll have scads of them before long. You're gonna need a place to unload. Yeah, they are kind of bulky. Well, who's got you covered? This pixie right here. Anacrow made me a special prison case that lets me keep all your prismariums safe. Just plonk the ones you don't need in and yoink the ones you do need out. All plonking and yoinking must be performed within the confines of Nine Wood Hills or from an alternate location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, and restrictions may apply. Okay. I'm not sure I caught every single word, but I guess I agree. Oh, yeah. This prismarian belongs to one of my tribe. Treat it with the same boundless love and affection you feel for me. Okay. Seraphie's kind of a special the case. Well, she doesn't put the in all of her sentences, so she's eight million times better than you. Prism case, you can transfer your stuff. Think of it like in Pokemon, you'd have a box. Or in Shin Megami Tensei, you have a compendium. Hmm, the Seraphone. 
is a special device to call her. All right. Just keep in mind that each phone can only be used once because she doesn't feel like getting a... Oh. Data security is important. You're right. Not a new Mirage. Oh, it's just her. <laughs> it's just like a version of her. Adorb. Name her? Alright. She's got a cat face. I'm a... Uh, I'm gonna say... The fuck's a Nyalu Tembe? I was gonna name it Nya. Sometimes the autocorrect is good, but it's also gonna be bad because I think anytime I use the letter C in PS4, it's gonna just autocorrect to cuck. Uh, I'm I'm a monster. Anyway, I think you should be able to manage on your own from here. You mean you're the leading us? Yes, you handle things now. Oh, okay, I the will. It's cool. <clears throat> I'll lock this place down <clears throat> tighter than a Malboro's bottle of mouthwash. That's a Seraphie guarantee. Huh? Sit down. But, she but where are you going now? Me. Oh, well. Somewhere uh, else, of course. Yeah, that's mm? not exactly very helpful. Uh, some... Look, we really need to ask you so many things. This? No, no, you'll figure it out. I can't do everything for you now. Everything? But you've barely done anything. Besides, every world has its own rules. Like water dousing fire, and light okay. banishing darkness. Uh, I think that's just called science? Well, I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. <sighs> You're bad at explaining. You're saying you can't help because that violates the rules of the world or something? Exactly. But why is that? I mean, come on. Just who do you think you are? Me? Oh, well... I'm God. She's gone. She's God, dude. Uh, I <laughs> guess we can't necessarily rule it out, but for somebody calling the cosmic shots, she seems kind of sub benevolent. Well, that's in a girl for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? Beats me. In a crow is in a crow, wouldn't you say? Pity the much. Uh, thanks for clearing it up. Clear him what up? Literally what? Speeding up conversation. Are you the impatient type? Here's a fun trick. During cutscenes, hold R1. Oh, not good enough for you? You can skip, too. Of course, if you start skipping skiing scenes with abandon, it won't be long before you have zero idea what's going on in the story. But then again, if this is your second trip through Grimoire, you may want to get right down to business. You can always check the log. See what you missed. What would you like to do? Travel. Alright. Beam me in. Oh look, you're making flowers. Look at that. Please ignore the creaking. That's me constantly adjusting the arm of well, my microphone. That certainly cost us a chunk of time. And is... whose fault is that? This game, that's the game, is the game's fault. Speeding up battles, R1 to speed them up. Targeting with the basic menu. Eh. Alright, let's go. Alright, you're ready. Give me the goods. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Listen, asshole. You're getting in. Yes. We have the cute thing. No trouble at all. Mm. 
we have obtained good old, uh, what was your name? Imprisoned. Oh, is his name Moo? He's a little forest animal. At least that's what it wants you to think, then pow. A tail punch to the jaw. This mirage has nothing to do with the legendary continent. May or may not squeak Moo when upset. Name your mirage. Hmm. Uh, e Jerry. What's up, Jerry? He's a nice guy. Experience. You know how fucking experience works. Yes. You're not a baby. <laughs> Hey, what's up? I, I see something in here. Is push. Is push. Looks like a stack setup. For example, hit this slot. We have nothing. But if we hit this slot, we have Nya, Jerry. Look at all these options we have here. Very interesting, I know. Let's see. We're gonna stick with the chibi style for a little bit, but I am gonna switch you out. Actually, there's no point in switching her out. She's generally better. So I guess switch out Burb. Bit more of a defensive type. And the game just has random battles. So that's a thing. Let's start. You know what? Let's see how fast this goes. That was a good fight. Oh yeah! I'm gonna like this let's play. <laughs> Early impressions. Like grinding is gonna be a lot easier in a game like this. Like, that's already... Is this your jump? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what are you doing? Come on. Go this... Actually, that's just the treasure. Oh, R1 lets you switch whoever's active. Long, oh! Don't touch it this time. I know, I know. But could we see all this stuff before? Now that you've fought that thing the once, you can see all its information. And if you the happen to know some Libra magic, you can peep at its data before you even jump in. Very good thing to keep in the mind. Got it. Yep. Very good thing to keep in the mind, Lom. Fuck these people. Stop being mean to Lon. I mean, I saw now, some pre-release videos guys. for this game. Like previews and stuff. And I think that's just the bit of, like, this kid's retarded. So I should really yeah. expect it. That wasn't so bad. Oh, oh, oh. 